Welcome to this week's showcase of Godot. In this video, I'll be showing you guys a few different projects that would either inspire you to, to make your own game or can either help you in actually putting it into your game and it can actually be useful. First up is the abandoned spaceship Godot demo. In this demo, you'll be able to import it into your Godot projects. And you'll be able to go through the code, the environment, everything that actually makes this demo. And it's really cool because you get to see the lighting, the environment settings, all that cool jazz. And again, I'll be leaving the link to this project in the description down below. It'll be in a GitHub. All you have to do is download the GitHub project, export it, and import it back into your GitHub, into your Godot project. And so as you can see, we have a bunch of really cool lightings from the project. It's really, really cool. And, and it's crazy to actually see that Godot, this is actually something that is, was made in Godot 4 and you can actually explore it using a small character. And you can see we go out into the forest and the forest actually really uses the tree uses a really cool texture. So it's actually really cool to see how realistic the textures are. Next up is the Godot Hexagrid. This is an add-on that you can add into your game that will allow you to easily create a hexagrid kind of type game where we have these little tree things. I'm not 100% sure I haven't played around with it, but it's a really cool add-on that I think if you are making kind of a hexagrid game that you, that you should definitely consider. Next up is one of my favorites from making Android games is Joystick. Godot 4 um, has kind of messed up a bunch of things and add-ons from Godot 3 because obviously a lot of them are outdated, but this add-on will allow you to easily create a joystick because obviously Godot 4 or just Godot in general did not have a joystick or a built-in joystick for Android games. So this person has created a, a really nice joystick that you can see and they've also included a demo that you can also play with. So you can definitely check that out and the GitHub will be down in the description down below. So go check. Now this one might actually be very, very useful to some of you guys if you are trying to import your project from Godot 3 to Godot 4 because this will actually allow you to import your animation sprite into animation player because the way that animated sprite used to work in Godot 3 was kind of doable with code and all that stuff but with Godot 4 coming out it made it a little harder to use especially once they removed the playing function so no there's no longer a playing function in the animated sprite but so a better way to do it would be to put everything in the animation player but I actually got this question a little while ago why not just use a sprite sheet and have a sprite instead of an animated sprite well realistically there's not too much of a difference but having an animated sprite having all the animations in there it's a really good way to organize everything so you don't have to have a bunch of different animation and uh, sprites with different sprite sheets now you can just put all of them into the animated sprite and play them with the animated player and this is a very cool add-on to help you do that and last up is going to be the pinch pan camera. This is something that you could do, but if you don't want to, and you just want to kind of do it quickly, this is an add-on that you can now add into your game. It's obviously mostly for um, Android, and I couldn't really play test this on my on my own because I, I'm kind of too lazy to export my camera and then uh, show my Android. So I'm just gonna be showing the GitHub. Um, and so you can see the little sample that we have. And that's so that's really cool that you can check that out and you can download it and just plug it in or add in add it into your project and use it so definitely check that out and that's it